We already have a message coming out. Perfect. Let's begin and see what's coming out for you for this week of March, March 8th. Okay, we have lavender, we have aqua, and we have emerald. Beautiful energy. Very deep energy here. I don't know. It's like deep but beautiful and colorful at the same time. So connect with the body, mind, and soul. Lavender, aqua, experience peace and calm. And emerald, calm your mind, body, and soul. So connect to the mind, body, and soul and calm them. Um, it's very important. And then experiencing the calmness can most likely lead to some sort of a breakthrough by the looks of it, right? Let's see what's coming up for Capricorns. And by the way, if you would like to book a reading, check out my links below, okay? Let's see. okay. So, oh, we have this card. It really wants to come out here. Um, I think you have a lot going on. Okay, and I really do feel with the lavender energy, you may even be at a lack of sleep because you may be overpowered by emotions or options or thoughts. This could be about a love connection. Um, this could be about even letting go of a love connection or what's going to happen in this love connection, right? So let's see what else we have here. Yeah, you've been hanging on, waiting for the answer. I think that you're in a situation with someone who you have a deep bond with, a deep soul connection to, a deep, um, there's something established here as well is what I get, okay? This is like, it looks like twin flame energy, but I don't know what to say just yet. Just because you're hanging on so tight, there's karma involved, and there's many options in front of you. And this can happen, um... For many reasons, and what that many options could be is that you are just not sticking to one emotion or one thought, therefore draining your energy. I think you're overthinking a situation as well because you have a connection with someone, but it feels toxic at times and you're wondering if you should walk out, Capricorn. So with the Four of Pentacles, it's really... You know, it says calm your mind. Your mind is really on overdrive. Okay, so why? Let's get into this. Why is Capricorn's mind on such overdrive? There's definitely with the Ace of Swords. It's bothering you. Something is bothering you. But what I'm getting more importantly is that you've overthought this so much that you've kind of created this energy yourself. You know what I mean? Like if you press the gas on the tire while it's in the brakes... It, it's overworking, overworking, and then you take it off and then it's smoking. I mean, you kind of cause it yourself by pressing the brake and the gas at the same time type of thing. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. You've really been overthinking a love situation. Why are you overthinking this so much? Because this is a very special connection, the tower, okay? And the world is here. This may be a really strong karmic lesson, it just shouldn't feel this. Like, I just see, like, your head exploding. Why is this driving you so crazy? Oh, my gosh. Don't tell me it's because of that. Okay, there could be a third party involved here, okay? But I feel that you do have a very strong sexual connection to this person as well. Um, yeah, you and this person very much so could be twin flames. Does that mean that you're meant to be together? It doesn't mean that you have to be together or you're meant to be together for sure or anything like that. Um, but I am seeing that there is a uh, twin flame energy here, but there is a third party in the middle of this is what I'm getting. This is probably why you're overthinking about this situation. You may want the truth. You may want to know um, if someone could let this go by now. Is someone going to cut this off by now? But it's really in your head. If you think this message applies not to you and maybe to your person, then go ahead. Apply it that way. Um, there's someone in a situation that they are completely wasting time in. It's just like, it's just, it's the same thing going round and round and round and round and round. Um, so that can be you or your person. Okay. So what's going to happen here? See the moon. I see the eight of pentacles. The hermit just flipped over there. There could be some clarity and we have the wheel of fortune here. There could be some clarity coming to this situation. I mean, 
it's good too, but right now someone's going within and trying to figure out what could happen. But I think whatever's going to happen, it's going to happen kind of unexpectedly more than anything. And what this could be is someone coming in. Um, let's see what six of wands is flipped over there, but I'm going to leave it. What could this unexpected windfall be? Like it's something good is what I get. So we had the six of wands. Now we have the queen of wands coming in Capricorn. Um, this is about someone, I'm getting speaking up, to be honest, and it's someone who got burned in love. There's something happening here. Someone's been burned in love, right? So look at here, Queen of Wands. She has the tattoo on her hand, burn. Um, then we have this Ten of Cups coming in, and on the female hand, it says love. So... Who is that? You have a strong connection here with someone. You may both have tattoos, sure. You may be dealing with a fire sign. Oh, here's the third party energy again. So whoever this person is that was in a third party, it looks like they're coming back. I'm just going to put it simple for you. Now we have the king and queen right next to each other. I didn't even realize that. Capricorn. Um, an unexpected windfall. Like, hmm. So what else happens here? Because I want to know why someone is it like is someone in their head or something. And yeah, I do feel like there's someone in their head and two heads. Someone may be a Gemini here. But this person is charging in. This person is coming in to say what's on their mind and what is on their mind. If we can get that. And it comes back to this Ten of Cups again. There's two Ten of Cups in this deck. Um, this person wants a fresh start. I feel like you knew this person before Capricorn and there's been an ending. The ending could have been for quite some time for some of you um, because now you're both tatted. So I don't know if when you met you weren't tatted and then maybe you just had a few tattoos and then now you have way more. It could also represent when you first met you were very innocent and then, you know, you had a lot happen to you, right? And it sticks with you. Oh my gosh, for a second I thought this is the Queen of I'm like, what how many double deck cards does this deck have? Um there's definitely an opportunity of a new beginning coming here. And also uh, I'm gonna say collaboration for some reason, but it's a celebration in, of love. Okay. Now what happened to this goddamn third party? What the heck is this about? She just wants to show up. It's been released. The third party has been released, actually, is what I'm getting. Yeah, even with the five of pentacles. But that's because um, three plus seven equals ten. That's a releasing. This is the leaving the home. Um, that third party has been released, is what I'm getting. It wasn't easy. But someone had the strength to let it go, to face the truth and walk away from the situation. So this may be why now you are getting this uh, return out of the blue, out of the dark, Capricorn and the moon energy here. This is whatever you were really in your head about. This person is coming in and they're coming in single. Whoever was in their head, they just don't expect this to happen. This is a very deep connection. This is a very deep connection. Just from what I'm seeing, this is a new opportunity here. Look where I cut it right now, the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new opportunity coming in. It's bigger than your wildest wishes is what I'm getting, okay? So thank you so much. Bye for now.